the ANC. We renew the ANC not only for the ANC itself and its survival. Yes. The ANC was never born for elections. True. It was born to liberate the people. Look, we are angry, we can't uh, vote and all yeah. that. Just register because <laughs> your anger might end towards the election date and yeah. there might not be time for you to register. But still sustain us in power and all those. Those are the issues that can follow. True. But what is important? Register to vote. Absolutely. But of course, to vote for the African National Congress. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it wrong. Yeah. Register to vote for the African National Congress. Welcome to it. This is uh, the launch of the new ANC Johannesburg podcast. Uh, it's the ANC Joburg podcast. And of course, it's a podcast that is designed to speak to the leadership of the African National Congress in Johannesburg. And of course, uh, tonight has been absolutely amazing. I got to speak to uh, the treasurer of the African National Congress. I got to speak to uh, the deputy chairperson of the African National Congress. Right now, I'm about to speak to the regional treasurer. I mean, the regional secretary of the African National Congress. He's the CEO of the ANC in Greater Johannesburg Region. Ntate uh, Sasabona Manganye. How are you doing, comrade Sasabona? Uh, good evening, Comrade uh, Sipo, and good evening also to your listeners. Uh, and I'm doing very well. Hope you are doing well yourself. It's been long, eh? It's been long, and you're looking good, and look at you, and <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Or, uh, I know, about Sherry Cren, they got a go region. No, no, thanks very much. Yeah. Thanks very much, Sipo. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, today, tonight is an important night for you as a... Uh, as uh, the secretary of the region, one of the biggest regions in the country, uh, you are doing a fundraiser. How important is it for you as a, as a, as a CEO, as a uh, secretary of the region? Yeah, look, um, the African National Congress is a non-profit organization. We are an NPO, mm. uh, an NGO that relies on you know donations for us to survive and uh, fund our programs. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and you will understand that uh, if we do not come up with initiatives that will assist us to fundraise, to have money, to fund our programs, then we will find it very difficult to operate, you know. Yeah. We are currently involved in a very serious program of renewing the ANC. And when we renew the ANC, we renew the ANC not only for the ANC itself and its survival, yeah. but we renew the ANC so that we can capacitate the ANC to have more capacity and ability to inspire confidence to the residents of Johannesburg and the people of South Africa, so that the people of South Africa, they can continue. Yeah. Having the ANC as an instrument of their liberation. Mm -hmm. And that can only happen when the African National Congress is able, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to locate itself amongst the people, be with the people, uh, and, and ensures that uh, you have uh, programs that will assist the people and inspire confidence to the, you know, to the people of South Africa. Absolutely. Um, so also, just uh, about tonight, I mean, what are your expectations? I know Little Batla Batu Batoni, Teko ANC, some have already paid for tables. Uh, the treasurer has told us that. Uh, but w overall, I mean, what is your expectation for tonight? Look, tonight is about, uh, apart from making money, Yeah. We wanted to dedicate this night also to the comrades that we have lost in mm -hmm. the region. Uh, in the previous regional executive committee, there are about six comrades who passed away. Yes. Uh, Mam Tandi Boko, who was an REC member, um, she once also served as the chairperson of the Section 79 committee in council. You have a, a comrade uh, Jeff Makungo, the former regional chairperson of the ANC, including uh, uh, the former mayor uh, uh, of the city of Johannesburg, uh, um, you know, who played a very critical role mm. in trying to ensure that we transform our city, uh, you know, as the world-class city. Mm. You have um, the late uh, uh, comrade uh, uh, Desmond uh, Mangani, mm. uh, Michelle. 
uh, who was a, a member of the regional executive committee and the former regional chairperson of the ANC Youth League. Mm. Um, uh, you have uh, uh, the, the former mayor and MMC, uh, uh, Comrade Mpome Erani, yes, who yes. also left us, uh, 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 Comrade Joli G. Matongo, uh, former mayor, former MMC, former regional chair of the of the youth league, who also left us. Mm. You have also that uh, doctor uh, Maisela, who left us, who was part of the veterans league, uh, sitting in the RC representing the veterans. So those were those are the six heroes that we thought, uh, apart from us, uh, using this event for us to garner funds for the African National Congress to sustain itself. Uh, and its, its programs, mm. but let's also honor these comrades uh, because they played a very critical role True. in transforming the lives of the people of Johannesburg. Absolutely. Um, so just lastly, uh, a message to all the comrades who are watching. I see everybody's walking in. Um, uh, just a message to all the members of the African National Congress who are based here in Johannesburg. Uh, your message of uh, encouragement or support, what would you like to say to them? Look, for me, the message is very simple to the members of the ANC. Mm. You join the African National Congress because you want to utilize the ANC as an instrument of liberating the people. Mm. That is the first thing. Mm. You join the ANC because you yourself believe in saving the people. Yeah. So, as we go to elections next year, our people, we must not find ourselves demonstrating leadership in communities only because of its election period. Mm. Mm. The ANC was never born for elections. True. It was born to liberate the people. Mm. Liberating the people must happen before and beyond elections. Mm. So they should ensure that street by street, corner by corner, in all townships, suburban areas, informal settlement, they must make sure that they are there to ensure that the needs of the people are addressed. They must be at the core mm. of service delivery to the people of Johannesburg. They, whether they have a white councillor or they do not have, they must know that by the virtue of them be, being part of a branch of the ANC because we have branches in all 135 wards. Yeah. They must be there to inspire the people. Absolutely. If you are a member of the ANC mm. And you join the ANC because you want the ANC to liberate you. Yeah. Then you don't qualify to be a member. Yeah. You must be a supporter of the ANC. Absolutely. Members must be those who want to liberate others. Yeah. And they know when you liberate society and others, by the virtue of you liberating others, mm. You are also getting liberated because you are a member of society. Absolutely. What does that mean? If a member understands that, when there are developments in communities, when there are job opportunities, business opportunities, you will know those are not meant for ANC members. They are meant for communities. Mm. If an ANC member benefit out of that, so good is proper but ben must benefit on the basis that they are community members mm -hmm. not on the basis that they are members of the ANC because they did not join the ANC for that purpose they joined the ANC to use it as a vehicle and instrument to liberate the people of South Africa absolutely sure uh, that's a mouthful from the regional secretary uh, regional secretary thank you so much you've got an election ahead of you and of course uh, it's going to be an interesting election and of course, all eyes are on Johannesburg and all responsibilities are on your shoulders to rally the troops to be ready for an election year. And of course, registration is coming up in November, right? Yes, yes. And yes. of course, uh, maybe also to encourage people to come out and uh, register. To, yes, uh, look, 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 it's very much important. Yeah. Uh, even those who believe that, uh, look, we are angry, we can't uh, vote and all yeah. that. Just register because <laughs> your anger might end towards the election date and yeah. there might not be time for you to register. True. So even young people, first-time voters, those who are at high school, uh, those who are at home, 
please uh, ensure that you register to vote. By the way, yeah. November is just the formal IEC registration weekend where they will come to communities. Okay. Registration as we speak is open. You can still register online, especially young people who, under, who understand this online thing, social media and all that. Use the online platform, register so that you can vote in the next elections. Look, the fact that you are in a free South Africa, the fact that you are in a South Africa that you even have a right to vote, yeah. that is the good reason enough for you to register to vote. Absolutely. Many other things can follow. Yeah. Uh, how we transform society and believe that society must still sustain us in power and all those. Those are the issues that can follow. True. But what is important? Register to vote. Absolutely. But of course... To vote for the African National Congress. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it wrong. Yeah. Register to vote for the African National Congress. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, Regional Secretary, I'd love to have more conversations with you uh, in the future. Of course, tonight is a big night for the African National Congress. It's been an honor to speak to you. Thank you very much for joining us on the podcast. I'm sure you must be excited. Now we have a podcast here for the region. We are going to profile councillors, all of them. We have to get all of them to tell us about the job that they are doing. They must account to the public. People must see what the councillors are in Sidi Abere. No, 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 no. I'm very happy uh, the work that you are doing in the Department of Information and Communication, um, uh, Publicity and Information, DIP. I'm very happy because uh, it's clear that uh, the Regional uh, Executive Committee when we made the changes in terms of uh, ensuring that we redeploy our comrades, at least we did not necessarily lower the standard. We kept the standard uh, up and, 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 and there are a number of things that are happening. Mm. Uh, you know, um, uh, So we are very much happy that at least uh, we are still sustaining our communication machinery in the manner in which our people on the ground, they are able to hear um, issues uh, about the African National Congress, the issues about the city of Johannesburg, the work that our councillors are also doing on the ground. Absolutely. Uh, Regional Secretary, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to speak to more of the ANC leaders uh, who are here in Houghton tonight. We are fundraising and of course uh, we are asking people to like search deep in their pockets to donate to the African National Congress so that the African National Congress can change the lives of our young people. So let's take a break. Regional Secretary, thank you so much. Solomon, 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 Solomon,